Hi, I'm Ed Hyland, and this is ASA TV. I'm joined now by Dr. John Dombrowski, and we're here basically to uh, ask the top three questions that ASA members need to know. John, thank you so much for coming by. Thanks for having me here. Give us some idea, why is an ASA membership so important? Well, ASA membership is important because we come together as a family. 52,000 members of practicing anesthesiologists and dentists of all stripes to come together to advance the practice of anesthesiology. So if you would share some thoughts about the, the benefits of membership, it's quite extensive, isn't it? There's no other society, medical society, that can offer all the things that the ASA does on behalf of our members. A couple things that really come to mind is number one is peer-to-peer -peer interactions. Where else can you tap into the knowledge, the breadth, the depth of knowledge through the ASA. We have this all on our website in terms of guidelines, protocols, um, papers, position statements that come out that's going to help you run your practice. The other that's very important is to deal with leadership. How to hone your leadership skills to become that best anesthesiologist you can be in your own operating room, your own hospital committee. More and more responsibilities are going to be taken on by the anesthesiologist through the perioperative surgical home. You need to be ready to be that leader. The other thing I, I see for uh, membership would be the whole aspect of how do you as a member navigate the changing complex roles that the government imposes upon medical practice. It's only the ASA that really does that on our behalf. And membership also gives you access to, oh, 50,000 plus other people who are your peers and you can network with by phone, by whatever means you so choose. And that is a great point. I think we, we see a lot of the, our younger members really tapping into that. We have groups, we have other things digitally, you know, in the cloud-based uh, community that they really do come together virtually, which is very exciting. I mean, in my generation really didn't do that, but this is a great time to use technology for, for that generation. ASA is a big organization, but it's also a very diverse organization, isn't it? Sure. I mean, obviously, ASA, we represent over 100 countries. Diversity, as has always been said, it really is the strength of our society, and any society. New ideas, new ways of thinking, new ways of doing things. And again, along with that, not only do we talk about traditional anesthesiologists, but we take care of the whole breadth of any anesthetic practice. Intensive care medicine, pediatric anesthesiology, pain medicine like myself, cardiac, elderly, the breadth. And not only that, we take care of those physicians in any type of practice situation, whether it's rural, suburban, surgery center, academic, university practice, or the private practitioner. All find a home at the ASA. Could you give us a, a little uh, explanation on women in anesthesia? Actually, that's a really good point that you brought up. This is the first time that we're starting to see a women's group really come together. Women certainly have different challenges that you know face them, whether it's in the professional career, personal career, and the ASA really was on the forefront to this to say, you know what, we want to recognize this, and actually there's going to be a, a panel discussion coming up on Monday to discuss you know, women in anesthesia. So John, if you would, uh, I understand there's a new category that would allow CAAs to become ASA members. Can you tell us more? Sure. Well, the certified anesthesiologist assistants, CAAs, are really a great member of the anesthesia care team, just like nurse anesthetists are. We're all a family working together. However, the CAAs have really worked hand in glove with the ASA in terms of the perioperative surgical home, making sure that we continue the great value of the anesthesia care team. And so with that, we wanted to recognize them as a really important role working together with the ASA. Dr. John Dombrowski, ASA Secretary, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, I appreciate it. And this is ASA TV.